The Start a Startup Factory is a nonprofit organization. A nonprofit that was started by two people who really care. The Start a Startup Factory provides micro grants up to $2,000. Helping people with big ideas. Helps other businesses get started. It's a very organic organization. And it's community oriented. Built on a framework of optimism and potential. I knew I was actually talking to someone directly that cared about my project and wanting to see it done. We're an organization that has the ability to, to give them that little boost to either start or continue a great idea. I think very unique in that it's structured to be an opportunity for people who are interested in doing something different, but in a non-traditional way. I like what it stands for. I like the fact that it's helped people before me, it's helped me in my program, and it's helped, it will help people after me. And I tell everybody about it. We don't have restrictions in many ways that other groups do. Other grant programs require either lengthy experience or um, resumes. I didn't go to college or have any degrees to get started with this. I've just kind of been learning it on my own. Going through a bank at my age or anyone else trying to help that didn't know me, there's not enough credit history for them to want to help. There's a lot of organizations out there that are offering grants. I found it very personable dealing with this organization. We're, we're very happy to review, to add questions, to critique, and to volley back and forth. We've really gotten to know each one of our applicants. We want to help you grow this into an achievable project. It's really simple. It's not hard. Um, They'll help you, they'll walk you through it, and it does work. The Start a Startup Factory has an international presence. How do you create these communities where not everybody can work in the same building, obviously, that there's people you know, contributing to uh, intelligence from you know, around the country, around the world, and um, being able to just share ideas via email or you know, these other interactive ways. Um, it's just uh, a new way of being you know, connected to people. I don't think there could be another organization like it, mainly because it just is so fundamentally different. We came into being as we were scrambling to move an enormous amount of confusion and disruption into something that could feel positive and full of love. You can't always um, control what happens to you, but you have absolute control over how you react to that and what you do with it. Angus Maloney had an idea for everything and he had a solution for everything. And he wanted to try everything. And I watched as Angus was constantly running into walls that were strictly financial. We loved Angus and we loved uh, the kindness that, that was Angus. And the, he was adventurous and he was bold and he was everything that you expect a young man to be. It makes me feel good to be moving Angus's spirit forward in them in however small a way we can do that. It's our way of staying connected through our 
relationship with Angus, and uh, it's it's a way to kind of carry on the the good things that he made us feel when he was around us. So. And that's how we came up with our focus areas. That these are areas, and it's so broad, but those are all things that were, that Angus in his understanding of the world saw as integrated and interconnected. An example of a strong proposal would be one that we've actually already funded, and it's from our now good friend, Tammy Thomas. She asked us for some funding so that she could self-sustain her new detox and rehabilitation center for women. Her project fits within sustainability, it fits within mental health, and it fits within learning as well. A retired drug detective is using her experience to start a new career helping women addicted to drugs and other vices. That's why she's opened the Miriam, a thrift store in Arundel Street in Moorhead City. Proceeds from the store go to fund a drug detox program and facility she's working to build. The Miriam is a non-profit, faith-based drug detox and rehab for women that are addicted to pills and alcohol. In that program there are many facets and one of the smaller um, facet that we have is to help the women not only with um, sustainability for the project but we also need to help with the women get outside themselves with um, uh, work habits and and trying to increase um, knowledge. I always say detox is cleaning the body of chemicals and rehab is is training your brain to live in a different way and that's why the programs are six months one year to two years because it takes a long time to retrain your brain to live differently especially if that's all you've ever known. Like I said it's got a lot of stuff right now but our goal is to empty this and we will put the tilapia, uh, we have to build platforms about this tall all over the floor. The girls will be sleeping upstairs. And there's a kitchen. Oh, is there a kitchen? This kitchen has not been ran since, for a long time, since 2008 probably. And everything in it still works. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. This would be this. This would be the major hub where the girls would work. Uh -huh. You know, we, we've got like six different working stations. Um, they can either work in the office, they can work in housekeeping, they can work in groundskeeping, in the fish farm, or at the uh, down at the vegetable garden and stuff like that. So there's they they maintain that for about 30 days, and after 30 days they will um, get a. Uh, eval from the manager that's head, you know that's heading up that area and that will go into their jacket for their work experience because the kinds of jobs you have them learning that fits with the local area it does and it's something that's going to be new to them but it, it just it just broadens their horizon mm -hmm. i was very excited about tammy's project having worked with many men and women with previous opiate addictions it's very difficult for people to uh, get a second chance and that's really all they need is a second chance somebody that will trust them and give them an opportunity to do some work people think just because you spent some time in jail or prison that you're cured and you should be able to get back that's not the case you you just because your body's clear of the chemicals doesn't mean your mind's clear of the way that you used to live mm -hmm. and this program will help them find another way to live the Startup Startup Factory helped me with the soft shell crab shedding tables that we have at the Miriam. Soft shell crabs will go in this area. We'll have six, four to six shedding tables. It's going to help the girls that are at this program be able to learn another trade. I think it's a wonderful um, opportunity. The donation has made a huge change. It's taken a lot of pressure off knowing that that project is taken care of. And I also plan to um, sow my seeds into the Startup Startup Factory because I want to pay back and give somebody else a chance that I got. I thought that Potter's Farm laid it out in a way that wasn't overly technical. He knew exactly what he needed 
Uh, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, and I think his application was, uh, just reading through it, I was nodding my head yes the whole time. I think we all were. I'm 23. I was born and raised here in Carter County. My granddaddy always had a small garden and worked at different farms, and as a little kid, I would go with him from his job to different ones and learn that way, helping him, riding with him on the tractor. I've worked at a bunch of different farms. I've always had the passion of farming, so I've gone from one farm to another. So I've just been doing that until I can get my stuff up and running and be able to do it from my farm and actually pay all my bills. It's, the micro grants definitely helped me get started a lot sooner than I would be able to on my own. I've always loved raising animals and plants and it's just always been my passion doing it and I've never had the opportunity to actually work off my own land and that's what I've always wanted to do and wanted to do it sustainably because there's not many farms in this area that do it that way. So I need to dig a pond and raise up an area to be able to grow the stuff without it flooding and that, without having to worry about it. And then I can also use the pond for irrigation, pumping the water from the pond and using that instead of a well. The fun part was seeing it start. I mean, I've had this vision and didn't know when I'd ever see anything actually happen. No matter how hard or how difficult it may seem to reach out there and try something new, keep going, do what you love, and don't give up on it. It's not complicated. It's not hard. Um, you can um, apply with any idea as long as it's within the, the three categories. Sustainability, mental and physical health, or learning. Whichever area they choose, and if it's interconnected, that's even better. The thematic elements of it are things that are really important right now. Um, I mean, everywhere you look, people are talking about sustainability, and I think people want to try, try to live sustainably, but they don't know how. They want to explore ideas, but they don't know how. And that's what I think this, uh, this opportunity really affords them. I would very much encourage others to apply. It's, it's very easy. And, and there's not a question that you can't ask that they won't know the answer to. I could <clears throat> ask questions and they would ask me questions and I could learn more about my project than I knew going into it and would have never thought of some of the questions that I was asked, so it was very helpful. I think it's, I think it's such an easy thing to do to throw it out there. Seriously, why wouldn't you apply for it? We're an organization that wants to go take a risk. Trust yourself. If you see something that needs to get done or you have an idea whose time has come, you don't need to have three years of an audited budget. And we don't care what your GPA is. And I don't care if you ever made it to community college or got a four-year degree or happen to hold a doctorate. If you really want to start something that you need seed money to begin, this is a type of a group that could actually support you. You can use videos, you can, use, you can write it down on paper, you can send us a, uh, pictures, whatever you want. Our website is beautifully laid out with the, the, what we are asking for an applicant. Define your problem. What are you trying to work on? What are you trying to solve? How will your project, how will your big idea benefit from the funds that we could provide. So you need to define within your big, beautiful idea, what will this microgrant support? Well, there are actually two phases to the application process. One is a very simple fill in the blank on the website that triggers an alert to us that we have an interested applicant. Then there are eight key questions that every applicant is expected to complete and fill out. What we need here is just to answer these eight guiding questions that we've written, but in any way that you choose. It doesn't have to be an essay. In fact, it's even better if it's in a video form where we can see you and get to know you visually. It's reviewed by me, by the other co-founders to get a sense of where we, you know, do we believe it's fitting within those content areas where we're focused as an organization. 
At that point, it's sent out to three different subject matter experts for external review. It moves from there to the advisory board. So the advisory board is the group that goes, yeah, all right, we got five proposals. Which three of these really do feel like it's, it's tight, it's organized, it's easy to execute, it's ready to execute? Not necessarily easy, is it ready to execute? And then once the advisory board makes a decision of the ones they want to fund, we send all of the proposals up to the board of directors to consider for a release of money. It's not a long process, but it's definitely a comprehensive process. Right. We're trying to encourage people to connect with one another, to explore ideas, and to make the world a better place. We have a tendency to, to think we should do it alone. You know, that pull yourself up by your bootstraps kind of mentality. And nobody does it alone. We've all had help at every step of the way. Um, I remember distinctly receiving $1,000 from my church when I was in college. And I ate on that money. And it was it, that was a huge, it seems like a very small amount of money, but... That fed me. It's just great to be part of something that um, celebrates our, our creativity and our, and our humanity and our desire to live in a better place, to not accept the status quo. Yeah, if, if you have a good idea and, and you think it has power, um, get it out there, right? I mean, <laughs> if it just stays inside your head, we'll, we'll never know. We've been at this for eight and a half months and we have achieved so much. We are the co-creators of the Start of Startup Factory. This has been an incredible endeavor. It has been quite amazing to see what these people have been able to do with the grants that we've given them. So here we are raising money for that very cause. I, I'm so proud to be standing here right now. So thank you again. Anyone who's potentially considering an application to our group, don't sit back and go, well, I don't think it's good enough, or I don't know if I have everything figured out. You know, that's part of research. That is part of what you might be needing to do. Figure it out. It's great to be part of something that's helping people and helping the environment. It creates opportunities for people to do things. Maybe they don't have the opportunity locally where they are, but through technology they can find other people who resonate with their ideas and give them a channel to express themselves even though it's not where they physically are. Take a risk. Take that jump. Make, make a decision to apply. Start somewhere and then we can help. We will help because we really do want to see people succeed.